Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Donnell Morris with InternetAgents.com, where we teach agents how to dominate the internet through TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook with a powerful message that generates a ton of leads and creates six or seven figures and yearly commission checks. And today, we're going to be talking about three massive tips for new insurance agents who are coming into this industry. Now, if you don't know who I am, I've been an insurance agent since I've been 18 years old. I started off at TD Bank and I was selling a ton of policies from single premiums, uh, uh, single premium policies, whole life, IULs. And then I moved over to Wells Fargo, dealing with higher level clients before starting the agency. So you're talking to somebody with 10 plus years experience in this, where I've seen everything from the time I was 18 up until the age of 28 today. And um, I want to give three new tips to, to you if you're thinking about coming into this uh, industry or you already are, and you're like, Don, what do I do? What's my first step? So your very first step, step number one, is that you have to look at your license like an asset. Okay, now what is an asset? An asset is something that you invest in and it produces cash flow. OK, and it creates a return on investment right daily. It continues to increase in value. You just got into this industry and you have a license, which means that you can do something that unlicensed people can not sell insurance products, which is a beautiful thing. Now, in that now, you have to realize that with an asset in order to continue to make more money is not to uh, uh, to make more money is not to continue squeezing out the original asset is to buy more assets. Right. So as an example of a home. Right. Uh, you know, I buy a real estate property. Well, there's only a certain amount of home, only a certain amount of uh, uh, rooms inside of a investment property that I can squeeze out to make profit. I'm capped at a certain point. The same thing with your insurance license. Let's say I'm, I'm, I'm my resident license is in the state of Pennsylvania. I'm capped at a certain point of PA. Right. And this is the way that all local agents are doing it. You're capped in PA. Well, now what happens if I begin to buy more assets, more investment properties? Now my cash flow is continuing to open because I have a second one and a third one and a fourth one, then a fifth one. Look at it the same way when it comes to your insurance licenses that it's an asset. You need to, since I had PA, one of the first things I thought about was how do I continue to expand to be able to reach more people? So I got my PA license and I began to acquire more and more licenses where I'm eventually, eventually at a place where now I'm licensed across all 50 states across the United States of America. And um, the reason why is because I'm going to give you an interesting statistic. They said that the average state has roughly 6 million people the average state, which means that every time you buy a new license, you go from 6 million potential people to 12 million, to 18 million, to 24 million, to 30 million, to 30, 36 million, to 42 million, to 40, and then but da, da da all the way out, right? So the more licenses, the more cash flow, okay? Um, because you're looking at your license now as an asset and not, you're not thinking locally, you're thinking globally now. How can I market to the entire country, not just in my local city, chasing around everybody in my neighborhood? So one of the things you could do is if you, you know, to get licensed across the country, it's going to cost about 7,500 bucks to do. And you can go to sircon.com, S-I-R-C-O-N.com, and it allows you to, to submit non-residential uh, applications through. And by the way, you don't need to take a test again in order to get your non-resident license. Um, once you have your residential license, you can get non-residential license with no testing or anything. Just submit the application, pay the fee, and your non-resident license will get approved in two days. Easy, electronically too, straight through sircon.com. Now it is 7,500 bucks. So my recommendation is this. Every time that you earn a commission each and every week, Take the make it a goal to buy one or two licenses a week. Now, over time, you'll see that when you're about eight to 12 weeks out, you now went from one license now to 30 and you didn't do it all up front. If you don't got the capital to you did it over time. And now you're building up your licenses the same way that you will when buying real estate investment properties. OK, so get your licenses. It's an asset, which brings me to my second tip for new agents, because you're probably wondering, well, Don, why should I get licensed across the entire country if I'm not going to serve the entire country? Well, if you were talking to a life insurance agent back in the 1970s, that may have well been the case. But we're in 2022 and we are internet agents. I'm an internet agent. And with that, what that means is because you're licensed all over the country and why you should be is because of the fact that you now have the power of Facebook ads to be able to reach people in states that you're not in. And this is why I love Facebook ads. And this is why I love Google ads. And this is why I teach this, right? Uh, the power of ad targeting, right? Through Facebook ads and Google ads, we're able to target 
groups of people in specific states who are interested in life insurance. So as an example, I'm here in Pennsylvania right now. I go ahead and launch a Facebook ad, which I do on a daily. And when I launch that now, I launch these ads across the entire United States of America, sharing my message about insurance. And then in doing so, I'm now getting leads coming in from all over the country. Not only is my lead cost a lot lower, but also I'm not competing against a large group of agents who are in one specific state all trying to fight for the same business. I don't have to anymore. I'm able to reach people all over the country because I'm licensed all over and I use Facebook ads to be able to catapult my message across that country. Right. So going to the days of having to knock on doors in your local community, when now you can communicate with people using the exact tool that they're using every day. They're using Facebook every day. They're using Instagram every day. They're using YouTube every day. Right. They're using TikTok every day. Now we have the ability to get in front of their timeline with our advertisement and speak to them about the power of insurance. And then in exchange of speaking to them, if you were convincing enough, you provided them enough value then they're going to give you their information and say, hey, I was thinking about this. I would love to talk to you more about that. That is the power of being an internet agent. We now have access to the entire country, not a local community, which now brings me to, so just to kind of recap on number two, learning the power of Facebook ads. And obviously if you go to internetagents.com, um, that is literally what we teach when you uh, when you join our community, right? We're going to show you how to do all of those things from start to finish, which brings me to number three for newer agents. Now you got your licenses across the country. Now you learn the power of Facebook ads at this point, which leads me to number three, which is you're going to have to simplify what type of products that you're selling. Simplify the products you're selling. One of the problems that I that I had in the beginning years of on the agent side was that I was selling everything under the sun. You know, they had term life, they had IULs, they had permanent, they had uh, single premiums, they got infinite banking, they got um, mortgage protection, they got final expense. Uh, they got all of these different policies. And when you first come into this industry, you're so excited and you're getting so much advice from all of these different people about all these different policies. And then you hear people talking about, oh, term life insurance is the best. No, permanent life insurance is the best. No, IUL is the best. No, infinite banking is the best. And you got all of these different people all over talking about what policy is the best, when in fact, that doesn't matter and it's not going to make you much money. And in the beginning phase, it didn't make me much money either because I was dealing more in the politics of what policy was better and not focusing in on what was good for the client, right? So what's good for the client is that people like simplicity. And it, it took me a long time to learn this, and I'm going to give this to you ahead of time. People like simplicity. People don't like to be bombarded with 10 different options. Do you like to be bombarded with 10 options when you're inside of a store? The odds are you're saying no. You only want to deal with A or B, black or white. You know, red light, green light, right? Look at how the world is structured. Red light, green light, black or white. Uh, one, two, three, A, B, C, right? That, that is how sales works. Simplifying it into an easy formula that people can understand. So then you can get them down to the finish line of submitting an application and getting them insurance, which is the ultimate goal. Not bombarding them with 10 different policies that you know. So simplify your process and only deal with one to two insurance companies Right. I only deal with two carriers. At one point, I was dealing with 35 and I realized that's hard because they got, I got to remember all of these products and all of these underwriting guidelines. When I scaled down to only dealing with one insurance carrier, just one and a second one as a backup, if my first one, for whatever reason, declined, declined, I had a backup that simplified my processes that I, I was able to better understand the products of the carrier that I, that I was utilizing. And then on top of that, I understood their underwriting and I had a great relationship with them. But, and then I have other, other insurance companies on the back end if I needed to expand out for whatever reason because certain clients weren't getting approved. But I needed to dominate one. And on top of that, then I started to dominate down on a very specific product lines that I understood. And if I dominate and if I niche down, they say, they say, they say the riches are in the niches. If you niche down and say, hey, you know what? I'm selling term life insurance to people who just got mortgages and where now I'm selling mortgage protection. Hey, I'm selling final expense to individuals that are between 50 to 75 years old who don't have insurance, but they need power, they need money to be able to bury themselves, right? Like niche down in a specific market group and dominate that and learn everything, with, learn everything about all of the problems that a prospect in that market has. If you're going to be selling mortgage protection, learn everything about 
with this person that that has a mortgage, what are all of their fears? Right. And then from there, you now can match the sale to their fears and you've dominated it to where now when you begin to market your Facebook ads across the country to all of these people who have mortgages. Because you have the licenses to market around the country to everybody who has mortgages. Now, when you're selling this to them, you've dominated the sale because you know the prospect more than you know the product. And now you're driving and that's how you're going to be able to get your launch into this industry and really start seeing a level of success as opposed to trying to learn 15 different policies and you're wondering why you're losing. So those are the three things that I'll give you. Number one, your licenses are assets. Buy more. Number two, the power of Facebook ads. Learn it. And number three, simplify your process down to niching and dominating a very specific industry in insurance. And you're going to start seeing massive growth as soon as you come inside of this, uh, as soon as you come inside of this industry. And with that, if you need more help from this point, I have a free Telegram group chat, completely free, where I drop more videos like this. And if you are interested in learning how to continue to grow as an agent, hit the link below, get into the Telegram chat so you can get notifications whenever I drop more videos like these, that I just want to help you to be able to continue to grow and scale up. And hopefully by me continuing to provide you with so much free information and you're scaling up that soon you become an internet agent and you join our private community of internet agents who are generating six to seven figures in commission. And that's the part, that's the place where I want you to get to. So with that, appreciate you for watching this video. Hope this was valuable to you. Share this with your other agent friends, like and comment for me so we can get, continue to get this out there to more and more agents. And I will see you next video. Peace.